Hi, my name is Sophia Taroba. I'm on Crew 22. Right now we're doing the deck and painting the exterior walls of the house. On your work site, what kind of job do you have on your work site? Uh, my job is painting the exterior walls of the house. Like we painted the front of the house and the back of the house. Have you ever painted the outside of a house before? No, but Was, I painted an inside of the house. You painted inside. Was it kind of self-explanatory or kind of hard to learn? It was pretty easy. It was like the same as painting the inside of the house, except use primer first and then paint. And what does the primer do, do you know? The primer makes it easier for the paint to like stick onto the wall, and it's also so like if you had a darker color and you're putting a lighter color, you won't see the darker color through the lighter color. Perfect. And did your work site move pretty fast? Did you feel like the project went by really fast or every day kind of felt like you weren't making any progress until it was over? Um, some days felt like we were working kind of slow and more so like goofing off and having fun. But some days or like some hours of the days it felt like we were actually working really hard and getting the job done, especially like the people who are on deck crew. Yeah. What what is some of the stuff you did to have fun and goof around on the work site? Um, we did the church clap and we would play like some games and we'd like clip each other. What does that stuff. mean? So you have like a um, one of those like hanger clips. Yeah. <laughs> and like some of them have like palms something something or like yeah a message or they just look pretty and you're basically supposed to clip someone without them knowing and like once they find it they have to clip another person. I love that. Off. So one of your leaders or one of your kids showed up like with some games in their back pocket to play on yeah. the work site. That's genius. That's a pro tip. Okay. So your work site was fun and it wasn't just all hard work. Yeah. Did you feel intimidated at all getting on a work site this week? Um, Monday I did feel a little intimidated. I was like, oh, this is a big project. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, is this going to be like a quiet work site or like we're all going to like communicate well and stuff? Yeah. And you didn't really know anybody yeah. except your friend that brought you on this uh, mission trip. What's it been like getting to know everybody and being a part of our group this week? I really enjoyed it. I liked meeting new friends, especially through the window <laughs> yeah. and stuff. That was fun. And getting to know everybody, that was just like really nice. Awesome. Would you encourage somebody to like bring their friend on a trip like this or to come even if you don't know anybody in the future? Yes, I would. I really enjoyed this experience. I thought it was really amazing. So. On each work site, there's a few different jobs. Um, we give like a leadership job to each of the kids. What was your job? And then can you tell us about the other jobs on the work site? My job was progress supporter, where I basically, at the end of every day, I um, go to like this table where it'd be like progress supporters, devotion leaders, and um, I forgot the other one. But uh, basically, I'd just check in and they'd ask me my name and ask me what I got done and if um, like if um, our lead, like I forgot what it's called but like Don if like he helped in any way or anything like the um, site coach yeah yeah that. and then um, they also asked us like a random question like yeah you had to do like trivia every yeah. day didn't you and like some of them I was like um <laughs> I don't know or like I forgot so yeah yeah what were some of the other jobs? So that was your job, progress reporter. Um, what did the other jobs do? Um, there was organizer where they basically had the directions to the site as well as a first aid kit to like just hold around in case of emergencies. And then there was devotion leader where after lunch we'd like sit down and they'd read out of their like little handbook and we just talk about those questions as a group. Awesome. And somebody got Lunch is ready every day. Yeah, it's a um, break maker. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Was there anything about being on this trip um, or being in this school, sleeping here for a week that made you appreciate anything back home more? Um, I, what, one thing I really appreciated was how like this kind of had me like have to kind of like communicate and talk to people because usually I'm kind of like shy and nervous to talk to people, but I feel like this experience had made me like, I'm like, now it's easier to talk to people. 
and like that's something I struggled with back at home and also like I remember um, when we did that thing on Thursday where we say like God I'm thankful for I really enjoyed that because it helped me like realize how many things like I should appreciate and stuff because I'm I feel like showed me how fortunate I am to like have that stuff because some people don't have that yeah Thank you so much for talking to us. <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> She's the only one to thank me back. <laughs> oh.